In this video, we are going to talk about blockchain technology. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Blockchain technology is most simply defined as a decentralized, distributed ledger that records the provenance of a digital asset. By inherent design, the data on a blockchain is unable to be modified, which makes it a legitimate disruptor for industries like payments, cybersecurity and healthcare. Our guide will walk you through what it is, how it's used and its history. What is blockchain? Blockchain, sometimes referred to as distributed ledger technology, DLT, makes the history of any digital asset unalterable and transparent through the use of decentralization and cryptographic hashing. A simple analogy for understanding blockchain technology is a Google Doc. When we create a document and share it with a group of people, the document is distributed instead of copied or transferred. This creates a decentralized distribution chain that gives everyone access to the document at the same time. No one is locked out awaiting changes from another party, while all modifications to the doc are being recorded in real time, making changes completely transparent. Of course, blockchain is more complicated than a Google Doc, but the analogy is apt because it illustrates three critical ideas of the technology. Blockchain is an especially promising and revolutionary technology because it helps reduce risk, stamps out fraud and brings transparency in a scalable way for myriad uses. How does blockchain work? To put it simply, the purpose of a blockchain is to allow people, particularly those who do not trust one another, to communicate valuable data in a safe and tamper-proof manner. Blockchain is comprised of three fundamental concepts, blocks, nodes, and miners, or cryptocurrency miners. Blocks. Every chain is made up of a number of blocks, each of which contains three fundamental elements. The data contained within the block, a nonce is a 32-bit whole number that serves as a random number generator. When a block is constructed, the nonce is generated at random, and the hash of the block header is generated as a result. The hash is a 256-bit number that is associated with the nonce. To begin, there must be a large number of zeros, i.e., be extremely small. Whenever the very first block of a chain is formed, a nonce is used to compute the cryptographic hash associated with it. Unless the data in the block is mined, the data in the block is deemed signed and irrevocably connected to the nonce and hash. Miners. Miners create new blocks on the chain through a process called mining. In a blockchain every block has its own unique nonce and hash, but also references the hash of the previous block in the chain, so mining a block isn't easy, especially on large chains. Miners use special software to solve the incredibly complex math problem of finding a nonce that generates an accepted hash. Because the nonce is only 32 bits and the hash is 256, there are roughly 4 billion possible nonce hash combinations that must be mined before the right one is found. When that happens miners are said to have found the golden nonce and their block is added to the chain. Making a change to any block earlier in the chain requires re-mining not just the block with the change, but all of the blocks that come after. This is why it's extremely difficult to manipulate blockchain technology. Think of it as safety in math, since finding golden nonces requires an enormous amount of time and computing power. When a block is successfully mined, the change is accepted by all of the nodes on the network and the miner is rewarded financially. Nodes. One of the most important concepts in blockchain technology is decentralization. No one computer or organization can own the chain. Instead, it is a distributed ledger via the nodes connected to the chain. Nodes can be any kind of electronic device that maintains copies of the blockchain and keeps the network functioning. Every node has its own copy of the blockchain and the network must algorithmically approve any newly mined block for the chain to be updated, trusted and verified. Since blockchains are transparent, every action in the ledger can be easily checked and viewed. Each participant is given a unique alphanumeric identification number that shows their transactions. Combining public information with a system of checks and balances helps the blockchain maintain integrity and creates trust among users. Essentially, blockchains can be thought of as the scalability of trust via technology. 
Cryptocurrencies. The beginning of blockchain's technological rise. Blockchain's most well-known use, and maybe most controversial, is in cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are digital currencies, or tokens, like Bitcoin, Ethereum or Litecoin, that can be used to buy goods and services. Just like a digital form of cash, crypto can be used to buy everything from your lunch to your next home. Unlike cash, crypto uses blockchain to act as both a public ledger and an enhanced cryptographic security system, so online transactions are always recorded and secured. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.